This by far has been my favorite like complexion launch from Fenty Beauty. Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Essence, Essence Janae. And in today's video, we are doing a wear test and review video on none other than Fenty's newest launch, which is the Skin Tint. I have been waiting to get my hands on this product and now that I finally have, I get to not only test it out, use it, see how I feel about it, but also share that with you guys, which I hope you're excited for. So if you're interested in my thoughts and how I feel about this product, definitely keep on watching. Of course, before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the bell so you can be notified every single time that I upload. But other than that, you guys already know what to do. Grab your makeup brushes, matcha tea, water, whatever is your preference, and let's get into it. up close and personal so that way we can see all the details when it comes to this skin tint i am so excited to be trying this today so of course i'm going to start off with prepping and priming my skin as usual we will get into the specifics of the product but first let's prep and prime that way it has time to sink in and just really penetrate the skin so first i'm going to start with the bobby brown vitamin enriched face base i did not choose to use anything pore filling today just because this skin tint is supposed to be blurring on its own and i really want to see that so i'm not going to use anything pore filling this is just very hydrating it's much more like a moisturizer so i'm just gonna apply this all over my face of course my brows are done and I did a little shadow this morning nothing too crazy also I have some lashes on which I have not put lashes on in a hot minute but that's really all that's going on for you know what I have done already of course my brows are done as well I think I said that I'm not really sure but yeah just priming the skin with this a little bit definitely goes a long way with this product so you don't need too much now, even though we are not using a pore filling primer, we're still gonna double prime. So I'm gonna use the Love Ritual uh, Primer Water from Smashbox. This is just gonna add a layer of hydration. So while we let that sink in, I am going to just kind of pull my hair out the way. So now that our hair is out the way, this is what the product looks like. So much smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Truthfully, in photos, it looks a lot bigger. But you still get 1.08 fluid ounces, which is standard for like a foundation. So still get the same amount of uh, product in this smaller container, but it's cute. And definitely very on brand for Fenty Beauty. So let's get into some specifics on her website. So this is supposed to be anywhere from light to medium buildable coverage. It's, it's supposed to have like this quick blur complex for hydrating and a diffused effect. It's supposed to smooth texture that layers well with primer and skincare and it applies well with the fingers or a brush. It's supposed to be humidity, sweat and transfer resistant. So we will definitely see. I am gonna be doing a wear test today so make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video for an update later on. But let's start with application of course because you can't wear something unless it's on your face. So let's get into the application now that our skin has had time to sit and really penetrate those prior products that we put on. So again, this is what the product looks like. And when you twist the cap off, you have what I would consider like a little squeezy tube, if you will. And that is how you take the product out. If you guys have seen my previous vlog that I released last week, Friday, if not, go watch it. But in that vlog, I was talking about purchasing this product, which is when I actually purchased it. And I was going between the shades 12 and 13, I want to say. And it was really hard for me. I mean, I'm not the best with shade matching, but I'm really hoping that number 12 works. So what I'm going to do is just apply this as I normally would, just squeeze it out and just start applying it everywhere. No method or madness to it, just literally applying it to my skin. So for the application, it says you can use your hands or you can use a brush. Of course, there's no rules in makeup, so you can use whatever you want of your choosing. I'm gonna use a brush today. 
Maybe another time I'll try my hands, but today I'm definitely going to just use a brush. I don't have her brush, so I'm just going to use the M439 from Morphe. And I'm just going to, I don't know, figure out what I like best when using this brush. But it's like there, but it's not there. Definitely can see the light coverage in it. Can't say that I'm mad at it. Like this spot right over here was like really dark. So I honestly did not expect it to cover that up. But for everything else, I think it looks really nice. It's definitely easy to blend out and just move around. I don't think that I put too much product on to begin with. It's definitely very lightweight. Like I do not feel this whatsoever on my skin. I just know it's there because I'm looking at myself. But outside of that, like it's really, really lightweight. All right, let's talk about coverage. I definitely feel like it's definitely lightweight. That's for sure. Uh, you do not feel it on the skin whatsoever. My blemishes are still somewhat peeking through, uh, which I didn't expect for it to cover up necessarily. Like it does say light to medium. So let's go ahead and see if we can build it up just a little bit. And I think this time with building it up, I am gonna actually use my fingers a little bit. So I'm just gonna apply in certain targeted areas because I don't need like a second layer everywhere, just like in certain spots. So, oh wow. You definitely get a different type of coverage when you use your fingers. Oh wow. All right, you guys, so this is with two coats. The first one you guys seen, I used the brush to apply it. I don't know if this is my favorite brush to apply it, but at the same time, um, not too bad either. And then again, the second time around, I used my finger, um, which was a little weird for me, but you know, it did the trick. I think I love the coverage. I love the fact that you cannot feel this on your face whatsoever, which makes me want to use it like as an everyday kind of skin tint, foundation, whatever you want to call it. It's just something nice to throw on your face just to even out your skin tone and kind of be done, especially if my skin was in a little better place as far as like scarring, this would be like perfect. I do feel like I am going to have to set this down as I do all my products, honestly because I do get oily, especially in the T-zone, I'm definitely gonna have to set this. If you're someone with more oily skin, I think you would definitely need to set for sure. If you have dry skin, you could get away with not setting it, honestly. This is definitely very natural, everyday wearable for sure, without a doubt. And so far, I'm impressed, um, to say the least. I do feel like though, I would still use a pore filling primer, even though this is supposed to be blurring. I mean, I feel like it did a nice job and you know, on camera, it definitely looks flawless and blurred somewhat, but for my liking and my taste, it could be better, at least in person from what I can see, just sitting here looking in the mirror and just looking at the mirror up close, like mm, it could be better. So that's my opinion and my thoughts as of now. I am going to finish off the rest of my face, of course, come back, give you my closing thoughts once my makeup's finished, and then of course, stay tuned to the end for the final, final thoughts in the actual wear test. All right, beauties, so this is everything finished and complete. My makeup is done. I will leave all the products in the description box down below. So if you're interested or want to know the details, on this look, definitely check the description box for everything. Uh, I used the bare minimum, like the bare minimum today, okay, when it comes to products. Now, as far as my first impressions and how I feel about this, I have to say I do love it. Now that everything's done, like it just really looks very, very natural and nice and just beautiful on the skin and it's still that same lightweight feeling that I had when I was applying it. So it's like almost as if it's not there at all. And that's always a plus. Now, of course, again, I did have to set my face down with powder because I do get oily throughout the day. So I do recommend that, you know, even without wearing it for a couple of hours, it's still something I feel like I would recommend anyone with oily skin. Just make sure you're setting your face so you can, you know, have that extra protection. But overall, I think it looks beautiful, you guys. And I feel like you will see it a lot more often. 
But of course, we have to wait a couple of hours, wear this. I do have some errands I need to run, so I will be out. I will be wearing a mask and all of that. And we will see how this product holds up. I'm really hoping for the best because I am that impressed with it. But of course, just like anything we do a wear test with or whatever, even off camera, it takes time to see those results. So what will be a second to you guys will be a couple hours for me, but I will check in with you guys at the end of the day. All right, beauties, so it has been about six hours since I last applied this and was finished with my makeup and everything. And honestly, I am super impressed. I love this skin tint, okay? As you guys can see, it's not too oily or anything like that. I feel like the makeup stayed in place. Nothing has, you know, started to fade or anything like that. I am starting to get a little oily, you know, in my T-zone, which is normal for me. As I've told you guys before, the reason why I make sure I set with powder is because I know I'm going to get oily in those areas. But honestly, it's not even that bad. Like, not bad at all. I have seen myself a lot more oilier than this with other products. So... I am impressed. I could wear this and, and be okay with the way that it is, but of course, it's the bounce back for me. So, considering that we're not too oily already to start is a major plus in my book, but since I have this in front of me, I'm gonna use the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder, this right here, just to, you know, go over my face with a little bit of powder. I don't have any blotting sheets in front of me, so we're just gonna just strictly go in with powder and just see if that helps I'm just using this uh, powder like I said mine is in matte tan and I'm just pressing and just kind of buffing this into the skin and as you guys can see it's taking away that oiliness just a little bit I'm sure if I would have blotted it would have been even better but I didn't think to pull out my blotting sheets and honestly to be real with you guys, I don't, I don't blot my face. Not really. Not unless I really, really need to. And I feel like the way that it was prior to me even going in with this powder, it wasn't that bad to where I wouldn't feel like I needed to go in with blotting sheets. Just a little bit of powder on top, I think is really doing the trick for me. So this looks good. All right, you guys, I feel like this foundation or skin tint is definitely a 10 out of 10 for me it's something i'm really obsessed with you guys like i still don't feel it on my face first of all secondly the balance back is amazing and to be honest it didn't even need that extra powder like it was fine just the way it was it wasn't too oily it's not cakey it's not rubbed off it's still there and keep in mind i did have a mask on today so i love it and i feel like if you guys do not have it, you probably should invest in it because number one, it's not really that expensive and two, it's bomb. Especially for the type of makeup looks that people are going for nowadays, including myself when it comes to doing makeup. I'm very minimal with it for the most part unless I'm doing like a really detailed video for you guys. Every once in a while, you know, I like that extra dolled up glam where I'm just doing the most, but on an everyday basis, I really love something a little bit more natural, a little bit more just toned down. And this definitely gives that to me. And on top of that, I don't get extremely oily. So 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend and I suggest you go grab yours today. With all of that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and review. I know you guys tend to enjoy these types of videos when I just sit here and focus on one product at a time. I also love doing a full face of new products as well as a lot of you guys know and I have many of those on my channel as well. So I will continue producing this content as long as you guys are still watching and enjoying it and you can definitely let me know by giving the video a big old thumbs up. Also if you made it this far and have not subscribed please make sure you go ahead and do that as well as click the bell so you can be notified every single time that I upload. I am going to close out today's video here. I love you guys so much and I hope you're staying safe and I will see you very very soon in my next upload.